Niner Nation, welcome back to another sports recap. Let's take a look at what happened this week. On Saturday, the football team became officially eligible for a bowl game for the first time in school history after beating Marshall 24-13. to The cold rain couldn't stop Charlotte from dominating and getting their sixth win of the season. The Charlotte 49ers became bowl eligible after defeating Marshall under the rain 24-13, to combining four wins in a row and an enthusiastic home crowd. Charlotte had Marshall to just 230 yards of total offense, the second fewest total yards Marshall has put up this season. I, I don't know if we played our best football game, but for us to find a way to win is the sign of a program that is, is moving in the right direction. Will Healy also explained how this victory was especially important for the senior players. You're looking at such a great group of leaders and people and players. When a group of guys believes in you the way that these guys bought into our staff and believe in, in our culture, you want good things to happen for them. You want those guys, those seniors, to, to feel like it was their program and they left a mark that, that will resonate for years upon years. I told our guys, you know, uh, we're not done. You know, my goal was to not get to a bowl game. My goal was to win a bowl game. Charlotte will play its final game of the regular season next Saturday. For all of us in the United Times, I'm Maria Solano. On Sunday, the women's basketball team lost to Fordham 76-51. to Hi, this is Drew Andrews with United Times. We're here filming the women's basketball game where they had a disappointing loss 76-51. to Christian Heith was the top scorer of the team as Coach Consuegra said they disappointedly didn't follow the game plan. It's not so a surprise that when you don't follow the game plan, you get your butts whooped. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Despite the disappointing loss the team had, Jay Phillips stepped up defensively for three steals. We have to figure out uh, very quickly how to get this team back going the right direction and doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, I would love to get beat by a team when we do what we're supposed to do uh, because then get, they deserve to win. Um, and, and certainly, that, I don't mean to take anything from Fordham. They were very, very good tonight. But let's execute the game plan and make somebody beat us with the game plan. So that will be our big focus this week. The Nets home game is December 17th against Delaware. On Thursday, the men's basketball team lost to App State 64-55. to Jordan Shepard led the team having a career-high 19 points. He helped fuel the 49ers offense with six assists. Charlotte fought hard by outscoring the Mountaineers 38-34 to in the second half, but still came up short. Their next game will be in Atlanta against Georgia State on November 27th. On Thursday, the men's soccer team beat Mercer 3-1 in the first round of the NCAA Division I soccer tournament. Charlotte was down 1-0 until Luke Johnson scored in the 23rd minute. Chance Pellerin and Patrick Hogan helped secure the win after scoring their goals. On Sunday, the 49ers lost 2-1 in the second round of the tournament against Clemson. In the 73rd minute, Preston Pop scored a goal and tied the game. It was a hard-fought match that ended with Clemson scoring the game-winning goal in overtime. That's all we have for the sports recap this week. From all of us at the Niner Times, I'm Gabby Swick.